What's up guys? My name's Mick Hambly. I'm here at Artisan Guitars in Franklin, Tennessee, and we are talking stomps. Today, this vid is all about stomps. Um, there's a brand called Wild Dog. They're the best at doing them. I'm going to show you the sounds that all the different ones kind of produce. I'm going to talk about why they're the go-to if you are looking at kind of introducing this into your realm of playing. Uh, but let's let's have a listen to this. Ready? I'm going to play some guitar, and then I'm going to introduce the stomp in a little bit after, just so you can go, oh, okay, that's why I need a stomp. So ready? Cool. Acoustic soloist, right? But then, like, imagine... That song. That's what a stomp adds to. If you're an acoustic soloist, these are great because it's not like you're learning a whole new instrument. Most of us kind of tap our feet anyway when you're playing. So put this under your foot and then you've got a whole new elevated kind of game. So that's why I love them. I can't do a gig without them. I think they're great. But Wild Dog, like I said, let's talk about these particular ones. Within the whole line of Wild Dog Stomps, you've got two different sizes, the smaller one and the regular one, we'll call it. Within the smaller ones, the six inch ones, you've got the Pup and the Tazzy Devil. With the Pup, you're looking at bamboo, with the Tassie Devil, you're looking at a different assortment of exotic woods, all Australian. Normal size ones, you've got the Dingo, the Silverback, which is the same as the Dingo, except with the silver jingles. Both are bamboo. You've got the Bunyip, which is Blackwood. And then you've got the Black Wolf, which is a monster. It's quite beautiful. Okay, so the one that I was just playing then, that's the, that's the dingo. So that's, that's a pretty entry level, normal sized one. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, I think that's at around the 250 mark. So they're not, look, these things are, un, they're not cheap. Sorry. They're not cheap. But the big difference about these compared to any other stomp on the market is they all have basically like a piezo, like a guitar pickup or that like they'll have a battery, which is annoying. Or you've got the electronic ones, which a more digital sounding and they have to be plugged into power, all those sorts of, these are the only ones that kind of have this reverse speaker mechanism. And I, it's not totally sh known how this guy from Byron Bay, Australia is doing it. He's not giving away his secrets, but props to him. It's some sort of microphone element. That's how, that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna call it. Whatever it is, it's passive. So it's just a guitar cable that comes straight from it to the PA, pump the bass up, send it through the subs, and you've got a great sounding kick. Um, yeah, so that's the, di that's the big difference about these compared to any other stomp. But let's listen to the different ones. So, like I said, this was the Dingo, entry level, sounds amazing. That's what I play live. I've had the same one for like seven years. It's never had a problem. And these things are designed to be stomped on. So it's pretty easy to make them so they struggle, but these are good, these are good. Let's move over to, here we are with the silverback. Same, bamboo, except these have the little jingles like I showed you just before. So let's listen without the jingles and then I'll actually undo them. You have the op option to like unscrew the thing so it actually allows the jingles to jingle. You getting that, brother? All right, I'm undoing these jangles. Let's see. There's that. Let's let's move on. Let's just pump these out so you can hear the differences. Okay. All right. We're on the baby sized ones. So let's have a have a listen to this. This is the pop. So this is the bamboo version of the small. Let's go. 
to the Tazzy Devil. So they're the small guys. Okay, I've plugged in the bunyip now. So we're looking at a step up into the Blackwood range. Uh, this one does have the jingles on it. I'm gonna play it without the jingles first and then we'll, um, and then we'll undo it. Here comes Stomp at ya. down here. All right. There's the bunion. All right. I've plugged the black wolf in. So this is the top dog. This is, this is the guy. This is the guy. Um, this is the top of the line as far as what we have here available at Artisan Guitars. So let's have a listen to it. so comfortable. Let's undo the jingles. Okay, got the jingles done. They sound, oh, okay. They sound different because it's the, uh, it's the, the golden looking ones. I should know what brass. Bill, <laughs> is it brass? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So any of the jingles that you've heard so far have been the silver ones. These are the brass ones. So that is a different sound. Yeah, okay, okay, let's get some. That concludes the demo for like what sounds are produced by each of these different models that Wild Dog ha have to offer. Um, like I said, these things are great for, you know, if you're a soloist and you perform live and you want to elevate your performance a whole bunch with very little effort, these are the go. These are the go. Like I said, you don't really have to learn anything new. It's not like you have to learn new chords, learn and it's not a new instrument. It's just keeping time as long as you can keep time you're in you're in pretty good shape um but yeah check it out wild dog there's a there's a good range as far as from price low to price high um that should be able to suit you um i love them they're great that's that's really all i have to say thanks for watching mm -hmm.